x values were the domain of f inverse, and those came from the y values of f, so that's the same as the range of f of x. This is why we have that fourth question in our domain function, in our domain questions, did this come from finding an inverse? Because we, if we knew the range, then we could, it could help us know what the domain is, and vice versa. So in all these questions that you run into in this section, where it asks what's the range of something, you are going to be able to actually calculate the domain and go from the domain to determine the ranges. Because the domains, we always know how to calculate them. All we have to do is start asking the questions. You know what they are, Don't, is there a denominator, is there a square root, even root, and so on and so forth. Now, final question. We have a function here, f of x.